This is a testimony on, on Audrey and I's tithing journey. And uh, my mother wasted no time in challenging me on tithing. She, she didn't wait for me to, to get involved in a church properly or to be saved. She was straight in with the tithing. Who of us here remember the commandment, do not test the Lord your God? Well, this paper's shaking. <laughs> well, I was shown a loophole. And being as arrogant as I was, I took it. Malachi 3.10 says, Bring your money to the storehouse and test the Lord with this. See if he will not pour out this blessing so that you cannot contain it. This was my dream come true. Test God and be very blessed. That was the beginning of our tithing journey. As time would tell, the Lord had other ideas on how and why it should be done. He did not need my money. He really wanted my heart and to see if I was going to be obedient. We arrived in Zambia young and foolish, and very quickly we were in debt, and no bank would touch us. This was tough at the time, but as time went on, we were to see that God already had his hand over us. Uh, if we had borrowed the money from the bank, we would have been sunk deeper into the hole. We started the process to put our house in order. Orge and I had jobs, and we worked quite hard. At the end of each month, we tithed our 10%. This was not a walk in the park. We would very often get phone calls for people that we were outstanding debts to. And it would have been easier to pay them than to put our money into the tithe. We both had times when we would need a nudge. Because uh, we were starting to wane something would come across our path and keep us going. When we're in the deepest of our debt, we owed $300,000. This kept us awake on many a night. We were given great ideas. Pay 10 cents on the dollar, liquidate, and we'd be free of this debt. This did not sit well with either of Audrey and I. So I owe, I owe, off to work we'd go. To end a long haul and an even longer story, I will tell you God did not just deposit a huge account, amount of money in our account and bail us out of the heap that we were in. I do believe there are consequences to our actions, so we had to bear them. But I strongly believe God honors those who are faithful. During this repayment time of ours, we were continually blessed. We were blessed that cars were undervalued and were reliable. We were blessed with the health and not too many expenses on that front. We were blessed with jobs that paid us well. And when my life as a transport had finished, the Lord blessed me with another job that also paid well. And best of all, we were under Christian leadership. He blessed us being able to send our two girls to good schools and then on, on to university. He's blessed us with a herd of over 350 head of cattle now that we are out of debt. You may think I said blessed often in the last paragraph. That is correct. We were blessed often. Tithing faithfully does not guarantee a cotton wool fence around you and all will be hunky-dory. We still have our ups and downs, but it gives us a front seat in seeing God at work in our lives. Recently, we have some, seen some heavy challenges on the farm, and just this last Friday, we experienced God's hand at work to bring us through. I'd like to challenge all of us sitting here today to be serious about our tithing and I clearly remember the difficulties and temptations not to tithe. Marnie will probably want to shoot me for saying this, but I also think the church should be more accountable. Maybe no tithe, the receipt, no coffee. <laughs> if my gentle persuasion has not helped for the hardcore Chris Meekles of this congregation, then here is a heavy for you. Proverbs 28, 22 says, the stingy are eager to get rich and are unaware that poverty awaits them. In closing, I'll come back to Malachi.
Someone's saying to you, I guess. <laughs> Can't even see it. <laughs> right. We have been blessed beyond what we deserve. Thank you, Lord. The process did not start with the right attitude, but God has moved it in the right direction. And Audrey and I are very happy, blessed tithers. Will you join in on this amazing journey and see what God does in your lives? Have a blessed day.